Hey everybody, welcome back to Todd Bowsley's world famous YouTube channel. Another episode of the Dynamite High Limit Casino Coin Pusher coming to you right here. Oh man, um, so uh, I got a lot of lot to look at here, and uh, we have um, uh, lots of tokens to talk about too. So um, I did step up to the ten million dollar buy-in today, so. Hopefully we can clear at least $10 million today. Uh, so if I don't do that, we're walking away with a loss. Huge buying today. Um, so basically what we need to do is knock down this huge tower here. Because <clears throat> this is going to be what has all that, uh, all those white chips, which are $50,000 chips. The blue chips underneath them are $20,000. And then the red chips uh, that are with them is $5,000. I also noticed there's a... Uh, three tokens I can see. So first off, you guys see this one right there. There's a silver ounce right there. If I get that silver ounce, what it's gonna do is it's gonna get me the gold that's on the side. So that silver ounce equals about 100 grand worth of gold because each one of those gold bricks comes to about 55, $56,000. So um, easily $110,000 just to get that silver ounce. Now, the other piece I see on the opposite side is a dice, and it's actually kind of like an old, tiny, uh, vintage wooden dice. Um, so basically, that's going to be a multiplier today. So whatever we win, we roll the dice, and it gets multiplied by that. So imagine if I get like, say, I get two or three million times that by I roll six, that could be uh, twelve million or eighteen million or you know whatever. So. It can actually really blow up just because I got the dice. There's also another token that they said I can't see it on underneath the token that I can see. So you guys see there's a token up here underneath these. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. But that uh, token up here is actually a Bitcoin. So it's going to get us one Bitcoin. I haven't checked uh, you know, cryptocurrency prices for a while, but... Uh, Bitcoin usually hangs out around thirty to forty thousand dollar range, so that's a thirty to forty thousand dollar coin right there. But they say at, they said at the very bottom of that tower is going to be another multiplier. The multiplier we're used to is buried by all those chips, and uh, it's just a regular two-time multiplier. So it's possible I could multiply by two and then multiply by five or six, and I could be walking away with. Oh, anywhere from 30 to 60 million dollars. I mean, I could be walking my huge, huge bucks. But in order to do that, I gotta pull those tokens first. So, in order to do that, you gotta knock the tower down. And I got three towers, or four, five towers, really, if you uh, put them all together, you count the two small ones. But we got three big towers here that we gotta knock down and get through if we wanna walk away with a big set of money. This front first tower here is mostly thousand dollar, five hundred dollar tokens. So compared to the rest of the machine, they're pretty low value. The tower behind it is a lot of tens and twenty five thousands. And then obviously back here we got a little big, a good mix of both. That was nice. Got that almost the entire tower and the dice is already it's probably closest to uh, coming down than anything else. So. We just gotta hope we don't lose that dice in uh, the abyss. So the first tower fell forward, the second tower fell backwards. I'm okay with that because the first tower is the one that had the dice multiplier and that's going to be what can make me, you know, a lot of money. I have not had good luck with the dice multipliers. I don't think I've ever hit a five or a six on a dice multiplier. They don't, I don't see them very often, but the few times I've seen them, I've only gotten like a two or three. Actually, the one time I rolled a one and it was just the biggest slap in the face. Let me tell you what. Yeah. You call us money in and you're relying on that dice to <clears throat> bring you in millions and then it, well, it doesn't increase your value at all. <laughs> I did ask though, because there's two multipliers, I asked how that breaks down. Um, they said 
I, if I get the double multiplier, my total gets double gets doubled first, and then gets multiplied by the dice. Um, and obviously, if I only get one, just, that's all, the only thing that uh, I get. But if I get both multipliers, uh, they actually I gotta apply the double multiplier first, and then I apply the dice multiplier. I'm excited to watch that big tower fall because I'm hoping it takes on a whole bunch of stuff with it. But I'm really hoping it doesn't fall backwards because that's going to be a long journey for us to get uh, my money back. Tower's gotten pretty wobbly, so hopefully it's coming soon. Oh no! <sighs> Sorry guys, I had to uh, breathe a little bit there because I got pretty upset. Uh, you see all those uh, $50,000 pieces just fell out of play. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, about half the, half the stack of those 50k guys stayed but the other half state fell, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get them off that tower back there now. So, um... Oh, man, that really... That really me up. So I'm going to have to pick up, uh... Pick up the pace and to make sure I, uh... You know, compensate for that now.
So there's our multiplier there. That's a two time multiplier. And I don't see the dice anymore, so hopefully we already drained that guy. So we cleared the top shelf, bottom shelf still has two stacks to knock down. One of the stacks uh, is leaning the wrong way, it's going to fall backwards I think. So we got to make, we got to kind of plan for that one because that's the second highest value tower. Probably everybody's having a good day, I know I am. About to uh, have uh, my days off. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays are always our days off. All right. So first off, the tower fell, and like I said, it fell backwards right onto the back playing field. So now I got to empty the back shelf again. But that's okay because uh, none of it fell out of bounds. Um, that's one thing I was kind of worried about because that happened with us with the first tower, uh, and all those high value stuff fell off the side. But hope that luckily didn't happen this time. Dropping quarters left and right. <clears throat> Just got that back shelf cleared again.
<clears throat> so you guys notice most of the stuff's falling off the right side here. That's where all the high value stuff is and I've kind of been leaning on that side. But you'll notice because of that, this guy's starting to kind of lean a little bit. Not very much though. It's pretty well stacked and um, pretty wide, so it's got a nice, uh, nice center. But <clears throat> you'll notice the bottom's coming out right here. front tire fell finally fell backwards just like I figured it would but that's good because now it's gonna act as a pusher for everything else that's back there
All right, so we are starting to run out of quarters. I might have a little bit of time to get a little bit of my winnings, but let's see how far this can get me. Told you I'm dropping quarters left and right. <laughs> I just dropped a handful that time. All the quarters I brought. Let's see what that can do. It doesn't look like a whole lot. So grab the quarters off the ground here real fast. I've been dropping this entire game and uh, apparently I wanted to hit the camera tripod while I was doing it. So hopefully I didn't give you guys too much of a... Oh no, we're still looking good. I'm gonna move this a little bit so you guys can see better. All right. So, for the rest of the quarters that I had my uh, on the ground, I should say, not in my hand. <laughs> oh no, that one quarter slid up on the other quarter. That's not what I wanted. All right. So I'll uh, see what that does. I'm gonna go ahead and grab more quarters out of my winnings. I'll be right back and I'll be able to play for like five or six more minutes. I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys. I am back and I have a load of quarters to be going. Uh, but, uh, do you have something to report? I did get the multiplying dice, so we'll have to roll that at the end after we're done. Let's see how much we got. We have not pulled the other multiplier out yet, so we got to try to grind to get that one out. It's got to be underneath this mess here.
you guys can tell how uh, stressful this is. Uh, so I'm pretty quiet this whole game. I'm trying to win back ten million dollars is uh, no joke. So I only got a couple more corners left here to play with, and then it's going to have to be time. So that's it. <clears throat> this is the last hand of quarters I got. So hopefully this can do me. Oh no. I'm a waste of a quarter. All right, that's all the quarters I got. All right, nothing really. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and grab my winnings up, count them up, and I'll be right back with the total for you guys, so don't go anywhere. All righty, guys, we are back. You see, we have a pretty nice collection of uh, chips here, so we'll have to see how much we got added all together. Going down the line, we got million dollar stack, so 3 million, 3.5, 3.6 million, 4.6 million, 5.6 million, 5.67, 8, 9, 10, that's 6 million there, just in those first three colors chips. Moving on, that's uh, 420,000, so 6,420,000 there. Five, six, seven, 820,000. Uh, got a bunch of stacks of $10,000 uh, chips, and same thing over here, and then some assorted over here. So you add all that together, and that gets you $6,934,000. Now, if that was it, I would be in trouble. Uh -huh. My buy-in was $10 million, and with only 6934 just shy of 7 mil, I did not get that buy-in. However, I did get this, so this is the multiplier. It doubles my winnings, so I take that um, nice chunk, that 6934000 I times it by 2, and that gets me 
And that is a record for myself so far, guys. I'm not even done. I'm not done yet. So uh, my record so far has been like 11, 12 million, and I'm already at 13 million eight hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars. So we also got the dice. Like I said, I uh, saw when I was getting my change out. So we have six, three, one, four, five, two. So we have all the all the numbers. Um, really, the only one we don't want is this guy. Um, because that's not going to do anything for us. But if we get literally any of the other ones, uh, we will break records that I don't even think exist. <laughs> so let's give it a roll. Oh my God, guys, that's six. You got you. Do you see this? Yeah, you see. Okay. So uh, sorry, guys. This the guy from the scene is actually right behind me. I I rolled. It. You guys saw. I rolled. I rolled a six. He saw it. I saw it. You guys saw it. We all saw it. I rolled a six on that huge, huge, the biggest, biggest amount I've ever won. Thirteen million dollars. You just multiply thirteen mil times six, <laughs> and let me tell you guys. Oh my God, I can I could play this machine, the ten million dollar buy-in. Oh, seventy or seven times, eight times almost. I got seventy-eight million dollars because of this dice. So seventy-eight million, guys. That is crazy uh oh okay so 10 million dollar buy-in minus the 78 mil i put uh i just won um so that's really a 68 million dollar profit that's so much guys so um luckily i can uh, take that and uh i i had to have broken some kind of record with a 68 or 68 million dollar profit so thank you guys so much for your time your support and everything you do. this is a phenomenal day I don't think I could have done it without, uh, definitely couldn't have done it without my uh, multipliers. They saved the day. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, same time, same place next time. And hopefully I can win even more. Uh, $78 million has got to be a world record. I, 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 it's got to be. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you same time, same place next time.